Well, before I think is, is 
weight, not just the weight, breakers on the on the water to that fast level that we could decide from the higher strokes and everything about that would be would be good for the money. Um, and the final thing was the temperature and uh, it was also from the lifeboat association or, or one of the health um, sources that we got. And that to anything below anything above fifteen is is fine, so that's a very low risk. And then as it goes lower and lower we can get a higher risk and then combine those three together to give the wrong risk function. And so this is uh, just a glimpse into what the calculation and math behind our immediate next steps is going to be. Um, we use the displacement data that we calculated from the shoreline to get a uh, descendancy in the traditional file, and then we train the model on it to cluster the data. And whenever we have outliers, i.e., things that are moving irregularly, will be our indication of people that are drowning or potentially in need of help. That is uh, our initial approach to how we would try to solve this complex problem of fighting people who are drowning. Um, we also have a, a few other future scopes that we have thought of and we plan on undertaking. Um, is to, of course, train it on fine tuned data. Uh, because we train uh, our model today on a general case, it's not the most accurate so far. So, for the case of Abilene, we plan on. Um, getting people to go to the beach and have uh, people act and pretend to drown so we have very accurate and sensitive data uh, that works specifically for a particular beach. We also plan on testing it out with different conditions, uh, perhaps with night vision cameras, with uh, polarized glasses, so we can minimize glare and all of that. Um, we also plan on having dedicated GPUs and we have to work out the latency issues so we are able to process videos in real time to can see if real lives. Um, would you like to ask any questions? Do you want to do the next steps for the Yeah, sure. Um, so the next steps for... Yeah, I don't there. And yeah, the next steps for us is funded, obviously. So we are going to make satellite programs that we can maybe go on as a team so we can progress a little bit further and maybe get some value behind it. And we're also going to look at grants that we can apply um, to so we can keep developing the idea and hopefully save some lives. So that's the plan going forward. Get some money. <laughs> Any questions? So it looks like your your current approach is a single shot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Talk to the techie person. So it looks like your approach is a single shot detection from the model itself. You're feeding in the data and getting one single shot of data back. Correct. Yes, we are using the Yolo model. And you can create and you're retraining yourself. So, wouldn't it be better to write a system that would track objects in real time and feed that data into a real time model that's tracking things? So, if someone goes under the water and you're not tracking them any farther, you still know they're drowning because their presence is missing. Uh, that's exactly what we are doing, actually. So, so, you have another model that's actually tracking everything in real time, and then the, your one shot is feeding that to your secondary application. Um, so, if we go to the video, yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, that sounds like a very good point. Right now, it's only one shot, uh -huh. but in the future, we will do it only like, uh, we will do, we will get the video directly from all the CCTV that's recording the people. But for now, just for proof of concept, we do it single stop. Okay, okay. yeah, that that's works. Exactly. Yeah, the whole application is getting all the data from all yeah. the different computers. Yeah. There we go, that's what I was saying. Because if we're doing a single sub, it's too late. Yes, it's exactly. Exactly. That's what I was going to Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. 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 How we actually take that forward practically. So it'd be interesting to know what the, yeah, the actual next step is. Mm -hmm. so, so, um, so, as, uh, as they were working on this bit, we were working on that bit. So, our part of this is to be that kind of facilitative next steps. So, we've already identified streams of funding that we can apply for. We've already done some figures about what we're actually applying for. We've also got information from these guys that we can apply that. We've also got history that we've got with the app that we made down the beach. 
supporting all that together into the funding because we do funding applications a lot. We work, <laughs> I know too much. That that's not a massive net set for us. It's kind of a natural net set for us that makes a difference. So we've already started doing that priority work already. So we've probably identified three funds today that we're going, okay, when we're in next week, we'll have a look at that. We'll make some contacts and look. And because we already have connections with the RNI, the Coast Guard, the Oscar, and Water Safety Scotland, so even when we want to do more work on this in terms of getting people in the water, we'll engage those services because they will provide um, Campbell Scott. So they'll provide bodies, my funds, by the way, bodies in the water that we can all then sort of kind of like take that data to the next. So we've been doing those things while these guys have been doing that thing. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But if there's any private funders in the room that want to invest, yeah. <laughs> all watching, <laughs> save a life. Yeah. So that's kind of the next. So because obviously it's about funding, but it's also about you know making sure that these these guys are hard working. You know, it's acknowledged through payments. And you look to commercialise any of these things that have saved. If you have yeah, any commercial we're, products. We're a speaker, yeah. so yeah, we can. Do you have history in commercialising any? Yes, uh, pretty good. We're service based, so yeah. a lot of the things we provide as services. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. recently developed a board game, or yeah. a board game, that we are just about to produce, um, and then we hit funding issues, like a lot of us out do. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got, got some history so, in it. So, that, just to let you know, that's an, an element of the Code of City at the Soap Factory, which I'm sure yeah. you've really touched on. The third kind of circle of that Venn diagram is the expertise in, that is within that community about mm -hmm. supporting. The journey of how you get funding, not necessarily grant funding, yeah. but how you can how you can actually get either debt, equity, yeah. you know, or, or revenue sure. from your product. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably a world we existed a lot, as probably as you know, um, but existing that kind of funding, grant funding, and commercial funding, funding from the um, big, um, the what we call it, gas, not all that energy companies. So, yeah, so absolutely, yeah, for sure, we're aware of that. So that's great. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. yeah, great. Thank you. Well done. Okay. Thank you.